So what's up fam, it's your boy Pastor B and um, today's my day off. That means I get to do chores. whoop de do. And then at lunchtime, I'm gonna go meet up with some guys. Um, fellowship and all that. So, come hang out. Grapefruit. So, at Epi, pastors get their day off. It's not on the Monday. Usually it's on Monday, but not for us. Uh, we're doing it on Thursday, whole day, and then Friday, half day. Um, this is because I noticed that, you know, when we have our day offs on Monday, what we do is we kind of hurry off the service at the end. Let's get this service over with on Sunday evening so we can have our day off. And so I didn't kind of like that. And so I put myself to a test and I figured it out in two weeks that I'm actually strong and still okay on Mondays, but I get weak around Thursday and Friday. So. We changed our schedules that instead of a Monday day off, we have Thursday day off and half a day of Friday. A good rest before we go on the crazy weekend schedule is best. So Thursday and Fridays are off and uh, it is my off, but I don't know. Is it weird or are you like that too? Like to me, it's relaxing and therapeutic to actually do chores at home. I'm weird. Anyways, watch out for this new vlog. This is the vlog from the worship lounge and the saying goodbye to the Aloha team. So watch out for that one. See you in a bit. So I'm now on my way to SM, I'm gonna be meeting with some guys after that. I think I'll have time to get a haircut. Uh, here we go. See you in a bit. Uh, my hair is still wet. Okay, so the people I'm meeting for lunch are Vishal and Jacob. And um, we have a lot of internationals that come to Epi and um, they're cool but we don't usually get to hang out with them a lot so um, intentionally knowing them and getting to hang out with them and because um, they are part of the church and you know, we say Epi is your church or family home so um, right now I'm going to have lunch with them hang out uh, hear their stories and also like just have good fellowship um, we're gearing up to building more communities in epi we have three um, cultures that we would like to build up in church um, our prayer culture our community culture and our leadership culture so um so those three things that i just said um, gives us sort of like as we have identified them gives us a focus on um, what activities and what um, moves and what work we need to put ourselves into. I'm looking for a Tom Talk. Uh, they're late. So I'm gonna go meet them now at Adidas. Boys. Hey man. <laughs> oh, Boy. Okay. How you doing? You guys good. hungry? Huh? You guys yep. hungry? Yep. I'm hungry. Mm. What guys feel like having? Uh, not Indian food. <laughs> not curry. Oh my gosh. Curry? 
curry. <laughs> I think we can actually get curry at a Japanese restaurant. Really? Or pizza? Japanese curry. You want to try? Okay. Or pizza? Whatever. Or pizza? You want pizza? Pizza. Where? Where do we get pizza? Hmm. It looks good. Three of them. Yes. Please. Yeah, boy. Yeah, bro. We're now in the vlog. Yeah. Woo, vlog is free. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're hanging out finally. What are you doing? That's me. <laughs> I started being you when I grow up. I want to be like you. What? <laughs> Do subscribe to his channel. Pass the beat. Let's Link go below. With, let's go with. <laughs> so what's the what's the idea about this? Um, like, it's basically uh, a world where Christians are being persecuted. And like it's it's in the style of Star Wars, where the government is like super anti-Christian, and whoever like speaks out in public, they get persecuted. Like and they're on, like different. There's different levels. Like one surrounding the, the, the in the town, and then there's one right, like in the nation, and then one that's by the, the main leader himself. Like okay. I call them uh, infinity. It's like um, limitless. I, I wasn't really sure. But, uh, it's in development. Yeah, it's in development. And uh, it's gonna be a trilogy one day. And yeah, and you'll see uh, people. There's like groups of like you could, you could call them teachers that are in secret uh, camps that will um, gather pe people who uh, who don't have any who don't know what they want to do in life, and they give them purpose and teach them the Bible in those in those secret camps. Nice, and bro. And they they're also very. They also learn to teach them self defense through whenever they go out. Whenever they go out, they go real they ninja fight. Christians. Let's go. Yeah. And basically, uh, Jedi Christians. Let's go. And basically, the the title it came it came to me like recently. It's called uh, Cross Legacy. It's basically cross, which symbolizes Jesus, represents Jesus Cross, and how he saved us through the, his resurrection. And the legacy by passing it down to this generation. Wow, so cool. dude, dude, we got a writer in the house. Yeah, yeah bro. One day, man. One day when it becomes famous, it's right here, bro. Yeah. yeah. Trilogy right there. Sounds like, kind of sounds like um, Hunger Games too. <laughs> right, right, right. That's what you all said. Yeah. Kind of sounds like Hunger Games. Star Wars. Yeah, bro. <laughs> It was actually originally supposed to be a Star Wars trilogy because I really, I did not like the trilogy, the sequel trilogy at all and I just wanted to like rewrite it. Who did anyways? <laughs> Nobody did. I think the first one, The Force Awakens, was okay. That was that was decent. Yeah, that was okay. Like it, it was a standalone. But when they when they start adding the other two um, movies, I was like, yeah, I, I, mean, yeah. I, was, I was fine with the Last Jedi, but the the, the last one was very disappointing. By the way, guys, <laughs> what, what is Star Wars? <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what Star Wars. But uh, hey, are you for reals? <laughs> You've never seen Star Wars. I haven't watched a single movie of Star Wars. Oh, that's sacrilegious, right? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why are we? Why are we friends, bro? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Lord so, of the Rings. Yeah, so I know who the Hobbit is. I remember who Frodo is. Okay, at least you know a little bit of that. Oh yeah. my. But, but you don't Wars, know Star Wars. No, but I know about uh, May the Fourth Be With You. That I don't. May the Fourth Be. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's Force. Star Wars Day. Yeah, that I know. Right? Jacob's gonna pray. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you for this fellowship with Pastor Brian. We've done the pizza sandwich now. No, teach me. It's easy. Just take two pieces of pizza and then just flip it over like that. And that's a sandwich, my good guy. Wow. It's a sandwich. Do that, yeah, sure. bro. This is a pizza sandwich. Quite a pizza sandwich. You boys better eat up. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. This is nuts, this is nuts. <laughs> Yo, check out the birds. Well, it's good hanging out, guys. Yeah, it's good hanging out with you too, Kuya. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Thanks for being cool. 
you are more cooler. Hey, proof that Michelle is single. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Where's your stuff? Yeah, yo, yo, but it's too long the line. Oh my gosh. That's why it's yow yow. <laughs> yow yow. No, no. <laughs> Boys. Bye. Yeah. Happy place. Yeah, because there's a lot of books and they're dirt cheap. So. I haven't, I haven't seen these brick in a long time. Should I get it? Ridiculous prizes, oh my goodness. I got ya. Yo, I may have gotten a little bit carried away <laughs> at the barber shop. Ugh. So let's go. Tonight is a teens night, 80s night. And I'm kinda excited to see what, what they what they've done, but finish up the schedules for next month. Oh, and we also have um, Pursuit Week. Hi. I guess. So pursuit night's over. Now we go for the teens night. 80s. Let's go. I think they're at the hub, which is downstairs. You have a new menu. You have a new menu. Bean redeemed. Oh my gosh. Let me see that. That's so fun. Bean redeemed by the blood of the lamb. Hallelujah. Nice. This is Teens Night 80s um, edition. Okay, for we are having Jeopardy. What type of animal was launched in 1981? Hey, hey girl. That's my favorite. Hey, girls. Hi. Hi. Hey. So, if you're wondering where we're at, we're at the hub, which is the kids' hall, but it's also a multi purpose hall for everybody. Um, so, if the top floor is, if the international hall is full and, and if the cafe is full, uh, we got this spot right here to do some more activities. Uh, we got the library over there, the kitchens over there. Studios over there. What in the world? What in the world? Kids today. Oh my gosh. They're singing oldies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> yeah! 
What's up with this kid singing all the old songs? It's kind of cool though, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> and stuff like that so you gotta message this number and they'll put your message on the screen French fries. I'm all right, thank you. Thanks for serving. So here's the Ates and the Cuyas cooking. Thanks for serving, guys. Okay, so that party's gonna go on for a while. Uh, it's cool because um, a lot of them are new. Hey guys. It's cool because a lot of those kids are new and um, I've not seen them in church. So it's a good way of reaching out, connecting, serving and hopefully be able to share the gospel to them soon. So that was cool. I'll back to work before I go home. All right, it's time to go. Look at all those. Clean up tomorrow. Too lazy to do it now. It's 8 p.m. on my day off. Time to go. Ah, oh, it's raining. The band is practicing. our church worship team <laughs> my brother's band is legit I love it that they got the guts to actually try and play it live which is so cool they know what they're doing and as long as they continue that legacy we good we good so anyways you guys know that song they were playing? Sing a song to the one who's been loving us since forever. Sing a song to the one who's been there our entire life. Whoa, sing a song to the love. Anyways, you gotta go home because the wife called and she said, shouldn't you be home by now having dinner with me? So that's what we're gonna do. So we going home, if this traffic will let me. Just like that, we're home. Oh, it rained. <sighs> Ooh, dinner's ready. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Fish. Sashado. Woohoo. Thank you. Thank you for cooking dinner, honey. I have an amazing wife. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, honey. This is 
for those who partake. Thank you for all your goodness, your provisions, your love, your strength, oh God, that sustains us. Amen. Amen. Night, guys. Peace out.